if you are a cutting tool manufacturer then this video will explain why you should seriously consider diversifying in the aerospace sector hi my name is ajin kekarkar i am the director of transor india we provide grinding oil filtration solutions mainly for tool and cutter grinding applications in order to provide value for our cutting tool manufacturing customers we intend to make videos like these where we study and compile data from various industries where cutting tool manufacturers can explore or diversify their operations and try to collate some information from various sources so why cutting tool manufacturers need to pay attention to the aerospace sector what i have learned through my research recently is that although the current scenario of uh, aerospace industry may not be very favorable but it is set for an explosive growth that that's what the various sources said now let me first outline what do i mean by aerospace industry the obvious is the sales of commercial aircraft but it is not limited to that other sectors or other key areas in this sector are drones defense aircrafts apart from this the radars the uh, other auxiliary equipments air traffic control towers satellites all this comes under the umbrella of the aerospace industry and often the most forgotten part of this industry is apart from the main equipment sale the maintenance repair and op other operations related to this industry are an allied activity to this and the revenue generated through this is also added in in these figures another important aspect to consider is the component manufacturing you might be aware that big companies like airbus or boeing they don't make each and every component that goes in their aircraft they outsource these components so aerospace component manufacturing is a very big industry and it is set for growth in the coming coming days i'll just share some numbers with you since 2015 this industry has seen a growth at the rate of about 3% aggregated growth in 2020 that is last year this industry actually contracted by about 14% but as you can imagine this was expected mainly because of the social distancing norms and in general fear because of the pandemic but as the economies are opening up as things are moving people have started their travels and this trend will continue i mean countries cannot remain under lockdown forever economies cannot remain locked down forever it has to open up and when this opens up experts say this sector is expected to grow by about 10% from 2022 to 2025 i hope this video was helpful for you please share your experience your interesting stories if you have them or your opinion regarding the aerospace industry in the comments below thank you